Okay, guys, so here's another um, CAE style part three of the reading and use of English uh, paper. Okay, um, so the example is scientists, science, sorry, um, can be a very person, and we have to change it to personal. Okay, obviously, the example is always very easy. So press pause now and try to answer the rest of the question. Okay, so let's work through it together then. Um, throughout history, scientists with very few or with few exception. Now, after few, few is a um, quantifier. Quantifier. So after a quantifier, we're going to use a noun, right? So from except, we need to create a, a noun, which would be exception. But it's few, so like poquitos or poquitas. So we need it in plural. Exceptions, okay? Because few is only for countable nouns, okay? Have carried out their investigations, motivated not by a desire for glory or wealth, but by a need to satisfy their own curious. Now, their own, after that, guys, we're going to need a noun, okay? So, um, their own house, their own money, their own pen, their own whatever. Now, what's the noun for, curi uh, for, for curious? It'd be curiosity, all right? Curiosity, uh-huh. Now, be careful, guys. We need to get rid of this U, okay? Curious with a U is when it's the adjective. Curiosity, as a noun, has no, uh, not a second U in that case, okay? Cool. Let's move on. Um, around the world for that. Uh, some have gained lasting fame while others have kept their discover. Now, after that, we're going to need some sort of a noun, right? So, discover, discovery, but if we notice here, it says, while others have kept their discovery, so I reckon it would be in plural, discoveries, okay? Because obviously we're talking about more than one scientist, and if each scientist makes one discovery, well, there's more than one discovery, right? Okay, so that has to be in plural, all right? Um, not caring about the recognize of others. Obviously, after the, which is an article, mm-hmm, we're going to need a noun, okay? So that would be recognition. Recognition. Now, careful with your spelling, guys. Recognition in English is with a T, not with a C, not with an S. You know, got to be with a T, okay? So scientists build on the research of their predecessors, but they usually make their own contributions individu individually. I therefore decided to take a something approach. So here, again, we've got the article. And then we've got approach, which is a noun, okay? So a something approach, a normal approach, an unusual approach, a conventional approach, blah, blah, blah. So we need some sort of adjective, okay? So this gap requires an adjective. So biography as an adjective is biographical, yeah? Just be careful, guys, to change this Y for an I, okay? All right, good, let's move on. Um, approach to the history of science in the hope of learning to some degree what makes scientists tick, like what motivates scientists, what, you know, um, gets scientists up in the morning, okay? There are even, I think, one or two, one or two. So this is telling me that we need something here in plural, okay? Um, somewhat surprising, surprising something, surprising information, Surprising ideas, surprising something. And here we've got the word reveal. Um, so obviously here, guys, we need a noun. Now, what's the noun of reveal? Well, revelation, okay? Now, reveal, E-A, revelation, just an E, please. But one or two, like I said before, we need it in plural, so it's going to have to be revelations, okay? Fine. This approach is out of favor, is kind of like not fashionable, it's not like the, the current um, status quo in, in academia, with today's history. Now, I think it's talking about the people who kind of practice this. So, you know, if we're talking about the people, we obviously need a noun, so that would be historian, all right? So, but it's not just one historian. It's like a group of historians, like the, the modern day historians, okay? So we need that in plural as well, okay? Um, who may well dismiss me as being old fashioned. But I trust that even if they consider my approach something, so consider my approach good, consider my approach bad, consider my approach um, 
you know, uh, innovative. Consider my approach old fashioned. So we need some sort of adjective here, okay? Now, obviously, except the adjective is acceptable, okay? But that doesn't really make sense in, in, in this text because it says, but I trust even if they consider my approach acceptable. Well, the idea is that the other historians don't like it. So it wouldn't be acceptable, it would be unacceptable. Yeah? They will still give it a fair hearing, like they'll give it a fair chance. Okay, I hope this information helps, guys.